Singles, get ready to say goodbye to <laughs> messy relationships and hello to a fresh start. Spring is the perfect time to refresh your romance skills. Oh, we can all use a refresh. Well, joining us now from It's Just Lunch San Francisco is matchmaker Lisa Sizemore. And Lisa, welcome. We're so happy Thank to have you, you here. Thank you so much for having me, ladies. Yeah. We love having you. I love <laughs> when you get to be here and we talk about relationships and do's and don'ts and just all the tips that you give us. So why is spring such a good time to refresh your love life? Just think about it. The weather is changing. Yep. And there's so much energy out there, right? The flowers are blooming, the birds are chirping, and it's the perfect time for people who've been cooped up in their house to get out and to make some changes and to start dating. So what I find is that when clients are with me, um, they will share that during the colder winter seasons, typically, people will stay in relationships even if they're not 100% happy. Oh dear. I know, it yeah. can happen. I mean, because you're wearing your chunky sweaters, you're wearing <laughs> your warm boots, it's like you're watching Netflix on you know, the sofa and you're just in a relationship and it might not be going in the direction that you anticipate. So in springtime, people really do reevaluate to see where they're at and then it's a time to clean the slate if it's not the right relationship yeah. and move forward and take a step forward. It's kind of that like moment of renewal and I think for a lot of people it's also that time when you're just thinking through your life and where are you, where are you and are you happy with it, right? So what would your advice be to where singles should begin? Because it is an undertaking and I it think it is. can be a little daunting for people. It certainly is and just think about when you see singles that are out there, if they're standing in line getting a coffee or if they're in the workplace, they're often with their cell phone. It's right. in their hands. So one of the first things that I would do is take a peek at your cell phone and maybe even change the cover on it so it's bright and fresh for spring. Make sure that it's clean and that your, your um, screen isn't broken or anything on because when you're out on a date, somebody eventually will ask you for your phone number and you're gonna take out your cell phone. So make sure yeah. that that also is equipped and looks really great. Ooh, that's a good tip. It that is a great is tip. Good tip. I have you, to don't, say. you don't want to be embarrassed taking out your cell phone. You're like, oh, don't mind my cracked screen. <laughs> my cracked screen and my dirty case and whatever. It's true because it is the funny little things. I know, I know I'm that person. I'm a little bit like type A Virgo. I yes. notice little things like socks or shoes or definitely. phones. Like I definitely notice that stuff. And it might give you a clue as to whether whether or not you're like, hmm, what do I think of this person, right? Exactly, and also inside of that phone, if you're holding on to phone numbers of gentlemen or ladies that you've only gone on one date with, get rid of that phone number. Screen you cleaning. Need that. Yes, and you do not need photos of yourself with your ex in your phone. Oh, you don't no. need to reference that. You definitely <laughs> should purge out phone numbers, emails, text messages of people that are no longer in your life because it will eventually slow you down. And you want to really be stepping off and, and, and entering a new era for dating. Right, just kind of clean, like like clean the whole the deck, right? Like yeah. just kind of start afresh. And Speaking of phones, any advice on texting, would you say? Mm. Definitely, I do not text somebody too much before a date. Like if you text too much and it reads like a novel, that's a big <laughs> no-no. So you definitely want to keep things really light and really fun and just let people know that you're looking forward to a date before you go on that date. The other thing that you want to be aware of is your wardrobe. You want to be prepared not only for that first date, but really think ahead to about five dates, right? So right now I'm telling my clients that it's just lunch. Take all of those dark colors, like yeah. the blacks, the charcoal grays, you know, those that we gravitate to in winter and put those in the back part of your closet right. and bring forth those whites, those bright colors like we're Kinda all wearing like today. We're ready, like, we're ready Jeff. <laughs> we are ready. We're ready to rock. Yes, or pastels, whatever looks best on you. But bring forth also shoes. Take a look at your shoes, especially the gentlemen. I mean, we saw uh, these you gentlemen know what? today. They had great shoes on, right? I have to agree <laughs> with you. I feel like it's one place that men can show fashion sense. And, Definitely. And I do notice it. When, I mean, it's not to say that I'd be like, oh, I don't like your shoes. That's the end of that. But I notice it if if it's, if it's a good shoe, good. If it's a good shoe. Yeah, it's a good shoe. A, a and even if it shoe. calls for you to be wearing a sneaker, don't wear the ones that you bumped around and worked <laughs> right. out in, you know, all week. Like have like my husband and I call them park shoes, right? <laughs> have something that looks really fashion forward and, and, and elegant, even if it is a sneaker. Yeah. Um, and then also, I would just say like. If you wear your hair long, like make a change. Maybe you get it cut a little bit, or maybe you change the color of your lipstick. Also for men, if they're wearing their hair super short, sometimes they can get a haircut and make, uh, or let it grow out if it's short, make it 
a little bit longer. Yeah. Or if it's longer, get a, a haircut. And also they can play a little bit with their um, facial hair. You know, having a little stubble sometimes can be sexy. That's true, because some people really go in for certain looks, yes, right? Definitely. Yes. Yeah. I love all of these tips. So we're talking right now about spring, but should there be um, a refreshing of your love life more than just once a year? A hundred percent. And this goes for couples that are even married, right? You should definitely evaluate where you're at, where you want to be like in six months or a year from that point. And, and start looking at fun things to do, because if you're like out there and enjoying enjoying the Bay Area. We live in such a beautifully we blessed area. We surely do, yeah. There are vineyards, the beautiful restaurants, as you were discussing earlier, the Aperol Spritz. At It's Just Lunch, we coordinate those first dates and it can be a drink and an appetizer and sitting out like outdoors at a bistro and enjoying the sunshine and the company of somebody brand new. So always be optimistic, always be really friendly. You know, have intention as you. Yeah, I mean, I think that's it too. It's like people have to kind of make the decision in their head to kind of try something different or open their mind to different possibilities. And this is a great time of year to do it, right? Yeah, it's, I, I agree. Yes. It's springtime. And um, I remember when I was young and single running around <laughs> with my girlfriends, I, the spring is when we were like, all right, we're getting out there. Like you yes, want to get definitely. in the warm weather. You want to enjoy and, and get out and socialize. So I think it's a time that um, girls are feeling that way and guys are feeling yeah, that way Yeah, who too. needs yes. hot girl summer where you can have hot spring summer? But, yeah. Hot spring you, girl, you, wait. Hot spring <laughs> Utilize girl. your friendships. Yeah, yeah like exactly. call your girlfriends and get out and start doing something new. So if you're somebody that just goes to yoga regularly, maybe you end up taking a yoga class that's out by the bay, you know, yeah. on the green. Or maybe you join a boot camp in the hopes of meeting a really cute guy. Yeah. You know, switch things up, but include your friends because they're there to support you as well. I love that. I will say that I um, definitely agree with your tip on, like, the colors. Right now, when I'm going out, if I go to the restaurant or the mall, anyone that's in a bright color, I'm like, ooh. kind of notice. Yeah, they're yeah. popping. Like, yes. I, I like their vibe. And so they're really sticking out to Definitely. me just in normal life, not even thinking about dating. But I also think if you see something that you like, compliment somebody because you could strike up a conversation and they could think that you're fabulous and they might know somebody that's single and then certainly want to refer you to go on a date with them. So you yeah. can be in the pool at the spa and be speaking to a married couple that might have a colleague or an amazing a, friend that they a business want to partner. You exactly. That's true. So just don't limit yourself to just the person that's in front of you. Be kind to the wait staff. Be kind to all the people that, that you meet. That is always good advice though, right? Yeah. Good stuff. I love it. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us. I always have thank so you. much fun when you join us here. So thank you for these tips. They're very helpful. So yes. much fun.